Today, Tuesday, November 10th, 2020, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of one new case of COVID-19, which brings a total number of cases diagnosed to date in country to 142. Case number 142 is a 27-year-old male from the Castries district. Following this individual presenting to a healthcare facility and being assessed and tested for COVID-19, he was placed in quarantine while awaiting his test results. This case has no known epidemiological link to any of our prior cases. As per protocol, the individual has been placed in isolation. Today's case brings a number of active cases currently in country to 100. At present, one of the active cases is in critical care and all of the other active cases remain stable. The Ministry of Health is pleased to announce the recovery of a total of 15 cases from COVID-19 from October 13, 2020, when our current increase commenced, to today, November 10, 2020. These 15 individuals have been released from care and have been reintegrated into their communities. The number of individuals being tested for COVID-19 continues to be at record levels. While awaiting their results, everyone who has been tested for COVID-19 is placed in quarantine by healthcare providers. This requires that these individuals refrain from social interaction and being in public places until results are received. The Ministry of Health makes a special appeal to anyone in quarantine to adhere to these guidelines as it is part of the public health effort to reduce the possibility of spread of the virus. The current guidelines and protocols are in place in the interest of protecting the health of each individual and should not be seen as trying to control or to take away people's freedom of movement. We again appeal for the support of all in the national effort to keep our population safe and to minimize the impact of COVID-19 on us all. Daily committing of the practice of the following infection prevention and control guidelines may appear to be simple, but they are truly effective in minimizing the risk for the spread of the virus. Frequent hand washing with soap and flowing water or the use of an alcohol-based hand sanitizer when hand washing is not possible. The wearing of a face mask when in public and ensuring that it covers both the mouth and the nose. Maintain a six foot physical separation from others, which is about two arms length apart. And to seek medical care if experiencing respiratory symptoms, which include fever, cough, shortness of breath, and sore throat. Also avoid contact with persons who are experiencing respiratory symptoms. Making these guidelines a habit will reduce the spread of the virus. We will continue to provide regular updates as information becomes available.